Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Monday, July 29th, 2024. Hope everyone has a wonderful week. There was an X flare late last night. Uh, sunspot area. Let me make this bigger. Uh, 3767 and 3765, I believe it came from right there in that location this area has been highly active the magnetic field there is just going bonkers so here we have um x 1.5 there was another one that was almost an x a little while ago um an m what is it m 8.77 also yesterday i talked about it there was another M-Class flare that was just uh, one point short of being an X. Let me bring this down so you can see right there at the time that these were occurring. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. It's at the end of the month, so the AI, um, for some odd reason, right, wink, wink, unsubscribes people from many of your favorite channels that you are subscribed from so make sure you're still subscribed if you wish to uh, receive notifications of videos being made many of the uh, solar flares cmes look like they were earth directed um solar flares don't always coincide with a uh, coronal mass ejection um they don't know why they're still studying that but if you look at the image here you can see how um, particles around the outside yeah they're actually earth directed see that see that small white wave of protons yeah right well it just happened I wonder if I can pause it for you hold on all right it's real faint let me move this so you can see it see how faint that is let me go forward again or back I should say see over here too all right yeah, those are the protons that are going to impact the Earth. Don't look like they've updated the solar wind prediction. Um, this is still from what they were showing yesterday when that M-class flare came off. And you can see it. we're going to be impacted supposedly around the 30th tomorrow. You might go out and watch and see if you can see any auroras tonight. Um, but it's supposed to go through the 30th to the 31st right there there's the 30th and then the 31st at the very end of it so they are saying that sunspot complex ar3765 and ar3767 are getting stronger the flares from that location are getting stronger an uh, impulse x 1.5 flare happened late last night um, or early morning for universal time cause a deep shortwave radio blackout again over Japan, Southeast Asia and Australia more X flares are in the offering as the sunspot complex turns directly towards Earth today and there's an aurora alert out so I did a report about this where yesterday there was a series of M class flares um, that hurled CMEs towards Earth. According to NOAA model, the first two CMEs merged to form a potential what they call a cannibal CME. Strong G3 class geomagnetic magnetic storms are possible when it reaches Earth on July 30th tomorrow. So I had some people ask me what is a cannibal CME because they warned that this was going to happen. What it is, is when two corona mass ejections are thrown off the sun with the plasma. And the uh, last one that was ejected actually is moving faster than the first. And it catches up with the first CME. The resulting um, effect is that they merge into one giant complex of, yeah, you know, 
plasma and solar winds and things like that, which can have a significant effect on the Earth. Um, yeah, it affects our magnetosphere and technology-dependent systems, such as satellites, communication systems, and power grids. Also, high-frequency radio, ham radio, um, satellite, television, your computers, your cell phones, yeah, things like that. Yeah, so that's what's going on currently. Yeah, an X1.5. This image here is from the sun from yesterday, from the two M-class flares. And you can see how um, the different particles, yeah, they're Earth-directed. And it's actually not completely Earth-directed right now. Um, so if we have more X-class flares, yep, be prepared. Yeah, um, you wonder why your cell phone's not working or your GPS is all screwed up. Well, we can thank the sun for that, right? So after the X1.5, there was um, an M1.08 and an M6.44. And it looks like we got another one coming in. It could be revised. We got an M37.3. So these magnetic storms should reach Earth no later than July 31st, potentially intensifying any geomagnetic storm already underway. If the G3 forecast is correct, auroras will be visible at mid-latitudes across Europe and the United States. Boy, wouldn't that be wonderful. Yeah, I've been missing out on the um, latest um, auroras. When they had them a couple months ago, a lot of people were so lucky to see them. But, yeah, we couldn't see them here. We got uh, probably too much light pollution. So they are predicting R3 radio blackout, which is strong. Hi-Fi radio, wide area blackout of Hi-Fi radio communication. Loss of radio contact for about an hour on the sunlit side of the Earth. Navigation effects. Low frequency navigational signals degraded for about an hour. Um, that would include um, CB, um, ham radios, things like that. And over here it shows you the size of an X flare. To be um, an R3 above it would be R, R4, which they would consider um, severe, which would be an X10. Often we have them, um, let me come down here, R2, which would be an M-class flare, uh, maybe a 5, or an R1 at the bottom um, for an M1 flare. Here we have another image of the sunspot areas. Um, right there in this location is where it goes off. Right there, look at that. You can see also how it is Earth-directed. Yeah, some on the side here, but it's coming around. A lot of activity here, and then, yeah, see all that? Look at that. That was the X1.5. Amazing. All right, so here we have Aurora forecast from Channel 2 News, and it shows what they're predicting to come all the way down here. Illinois, Iowa, um, says South Dakota. Yeah, look at that. Washington, parts of Oregon. Yeah, so the green is most likely, and then the yellow is low chance. Yeah. So, anyways, to be on the safe side, I would go out and take a look tonight, tomorrow night, and the day after. Oh, we, if we could be so lucky here in South Dakota, it would be wonderful. So, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Um, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.